Hola. Today I'm going to make um, mermaids in fabric. Right now I'm ironing a muslin fabric in natural color. After I iron the fabric, I'm going to add the pattern. I made this pattern, it looked like an airplane, but believe me, it's going to be a mermaid. At the beginning, I was thinking to cut seven, but uh, the, last, um, the last minute, I decided to cut eight because I'm going to do the rainbow colors, but I know the rainbow don't have pink, but I found a pink glitter that I have to use. After you transfer your pattern, you sew all around the pencil line, and then you cut all the thread that is hanging everywhere in the fabric. When you finish doing that, you cut all around your pattern, leaving um, one eighth of an inch around, maybe a little bit more if you wish. Okay, after that, you're going to cut little cuts, being very careful to not cut the sewing part. You need to cut those lines all around the shape. And when you finish doing that, you're going to put the inside out and you, I use a little stick that they sell in body places to hold the balloons Okay, when you finish putting all the pieces inside out, you're going to fill it up with the stuffing filler. They come in big bags. Um, to do to doing this, you need to wet your fabric first. That way, the filler doesn't move as much, and it's going to be very firm. When you finish stuffing, you just close the little open on the tail of each mermaid. And we're going to proceed to um, color them with acrylic paints. Now I'm going to put some music while I do the painting.
here I'm missing Mod Podge Glossy with glitter. I'm going to use the color of the glitter that is the same color of the acrylic that I used to color the tails of the mermaids. Um, you will see what I mean here uh, in, in the video. Plus I add about three layers of this in each tail but you have to wait for every layer to dry before adding the other one and you will see how I am put them to dry in a piece of styrofoam with a needle upside down Okay, when they are dry, we take them off of the styrofoam, um, we paint, we draw the faces. The faces are easy, the, the lips are in hard shape and the eyes are going to be just two black dots and in of those two little tiny white dots. And after that, with color shock, we're going to um, do their cheeks using a combination of orange, um, like very dark orange and pink. Now that I finish um, their faces, I'm going to add the hair. I use um, wool to do this, uh, but you can use whatever you want. You can use synthetic hair or whatever you find. Um, and using the same thing that I used for the glitter, the color of the hair is going to match the color of the tail. These are Mermaids are very matchy matchy. Um, the hair is up to you and using, like I told you, wool plus a wool needle to insert the hair inside. If you want to use glue, go ahead. I sometimes do it, but sometimes I, if they are too little, I don't use glue because it get very messy. But you will see here uh, how I do most of them.
now that we finished the, the hair, we're going to do the last touch-ups, touch uh, putting her top part, uh, using flat back pearls, and I'm using enamel dots to do this. Now I'm painting the hair belly buttons and um, sewing all of the mermaids together. Well, these are my rainbow mermaids. I hope you like it. Um, thank you for watching my videos. Until the next video, bye.